Hi there. Today we are going to discuss about the human middleware. Middleware is a kind of request interceptor. It can modify or defer the response to the user and can add and modify the request. Okay. So after the installation, we will get this folder structure and in this folder structure under the app folder and http folder and then middleware it contains uh, we can find the middleware which have been created during the installation okay and uh, there are two basically authenticate and example middleware so to activate the middleware, we have to go to the bootstrap folder and uh, then app.pg file. Okay. Under this, uh, in this file, we can see register middleware. So we can register our middleware here. Uh, Initially, uh, all of the middleware is to go or commented. Okay, so let's uh, activate one. Uh, there are two section of code. First one is uh, called uh, global registration. The second one is called a specific to root. Okay, so let's examine one by one. So if uh, I activate this one global one and uh, this is the example middleware and let's open this so uh, let something print out there so we can uh, check whether it is uh, intercepting or not okay so lock okay and flow okay okay and then Let's uh, hit out a replication. So I'm using Insomnia. You can use any other REST API client or uh, like a Postman or uh, you can hit directly from the browser. So let's... And we got an error. FSR root has, uh, has not been set. So uh, initially, facade uh, is not activated. We have to activate it. Actually, we are using the log facade here. OK, so we have to activate it here. In app.php, the top, app with facades, let's uncomment this. And let's try again. OK, now it is working. And now we have to check this log message in our log file okay so under the storage folder and then log there is a log file yes this is working now okay so we have activated the global middleware uh, it is called global middleware because uh, it is called for every request every time okay if we want some middleware that uh, uh, you want to use uh, for some specific route then we need to activate this block so let's comment it out and uh, activate it and declare here 
example okay like this and this alias uh, we can use to uh, our specific root okay so let's uh, open the root file which is uh, under the routes folder and here we can define over here okay. second parameter will be root or your uh, controller action okay so and let's define another root also Yeah. To differentiate it, let's remove from the base part root. Okay. And uh, let's call this part uh, as a test. So we have uh, deactivated the global middleware and activated the specific root and we have attached the specifically to the test root path and uh, if we hit the root path the message should not the log should not be print this log should not be print for the root path but it would be it would be print for the test path so let's test it's a root path and then send let's check log file no message and now if we hit the test that's it and we got the message okay so uh, this way we can define the specific root path a specific a specific uh, we define the middle for the an specific root okay um okay so uh, if we want to pass any parameter to this middleware so we can uh, pass here with colon param one okay and if we if you have uh, more than one parameter then you can simply separate it to uh, these with commas params tree okay and uh, to handle this parameter you need to get it here param one and param two You can give uh, any name as you want. So let's print out this parameter. Okay, and now test again. The test path. Same. Okay. So it should be print this yes it is working okay mm, okay so in some scenarios uh, uh, we want to intercept the request in before and after uh, the request uh, when the request end okay in the request process so this scenario is called the before uh, the request actually going further we intercept it and uh, you can uh, uh, check anything here and uh, modify the request okay before uh, further processing in some scenarios 
but in some scenarios we want to uh, modify request after it has been a handle okay so for this we need to change this the hair little bit here so for this request response sorry and we need to get this one here okay and at last we have to return the response okay so the next process the request and we get the response and after this phase we can process it we can modify it so this is called the after the request is being handled so let's check it out it is working yes it is working okay mm, so one more thing i want to tell you uh, there is a let's okay Uh, we can intercept the request at, at the time of termination. So we need to define it. Uh, there is a function, public function terminate. Okay, this function takes request and response both. And uh, okay for this uh, termination handle we need to activate the global declaration of the middle there so let's activate it and now let's test Okay, and check, yes, it is here, yeah, it is working, terminated, okay, okay, so it's all for now, thank you, thank you so much.